hello in this video here I'm going to teach you how to multiply fractions whether similar fractions or dissimilar fractions okay let's start with similar fractions let's say 7 over 9 times 6 over 9 okay Okay, to multiply fractions, we can multiply the numerators and also multiply the denominators. So, let's do it this way. 7 times 6 equals 42. Okay, 9 times 9 equals 81. So, this is our answer. Initial answer. Because this is in a higher term. We can find a GCF for 42 and 81 GCF of 42 and 81 both of these numbers are divisible by 3 so 42 divided by 3 equals 14 81 divided by 3 is 27 so this is already in the lowest term we cannot reduce this anymore but uh, do you know that this is, there is another way of multiplying this that we can still derive this answer? We will use the cross cancellation. So, let's say in the cross cancellation method, 7, 9 times 6, 9. Okay, in the cross cancellation method, find a number which has, uh, which fi find two numbers which have the same greatest common factor so in this sense we can see 6 and 9 or 6 and 9 whichever so we can use 6 and 9 or 6 and 9 here so we, we will use this one so that we can comply the cross cancellation term so 6 and 9 here has a GCF of 3 right so 6 divided by 3 equals 2 9 divided by 3 equals 3 okay so in that sense we can now multiply the new numerator 2 times 7 2 times 7 equals 14 3 times 9 equals 27 that's it it's still the same right so it's every method you'll find it easier for you to do as long as you derive the correct answer, that's it. It is still correct. So that's how you're going to multiply fractions that are similar. So let's find out if there is uh, a difference if we multiply two dissimilar fractions. Let's see if there is a difference. Let's have here, for example, 5 over, uh, let's say, 6 times 2 over let's say uh, 5 okay so do this method here we have 5 times 2 equals 10 and then 6 times 5 equals 30 it's very easy so meaning to say we have to multiply the numerators and the denominator regardless if they are similar like this one similar fractions this one uh, is dissimilar okay so meaning to say the same procedure the same process the same rule we have that we will follow 6 times 5 equals 30 so this is now our initial answer so 10 over 30 if we are going to reduce that to lowest term again so our gcf is 10 or we have to cancel this zero here our final answer is one third okay okay so this is now our final answer final answer okay so that's it oh we can cancel this one cancel cancel that's why we have one third here so if we are going to use the cancellation cross cancellation method, it is also easier for if it is easier for you, you can do it this way: five six times two fifth. 
Okay, so looking at that is very easy. This is can this can be cancelled. So our GCF for this matter is five. Five divided by five equals one. Five divided by five equals one. So simply multiply one times two. I know. Uh, not yet. Two and six. Okay, two and six. GCF is two. Okay. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So, cross cancellation. 1 times 1 equals 1. And then, 3 times 1 equals 3. Oh, that's it. We still have the same answer. Whichever method you did. The cross cancellation or the simply multiplying it directly. The numerators and the denominators. That's how we multiply fractions regardless of uh, their kind. Whether they are similar fractions or dissimilar fractions, whichever simply multiply the numerators and the denominators. Or you can use the cross cancellation method. Okay, so that's it.